glad to welcome you back again to this video session uh, about probability. We are working with uh, session number two, which is concerning with probability of complement events. So uh, actually this is a continuation of what we did in the previous session uh, number one. So uh, this is what matters at this time. So I beg you to be calm, listen to me so that you enjoy the lesson. Probability of complement event. In order to understand probability of complement event, first of all, let us check what does the word complement event mean by the way. So I'll start by defining complement event and from there we can now work on uh, the probability of that kind of event. So complement event, which is denoted by E dash, you can try to figure out this notation from set symbols that E dash or E complement uh, is relating to set by the way. Uh, so you can even try to figure out the definition of complement or event or complement of a set. So the, the knowledge is similar, the knowledge is similar I can say. So the definition is not going to change here, but we are going to modify a little bit to fit uh, the issue of probability. Now, complement event is defined to be the event uh, that do not occur. From the previous session, we studied event. The event is defined to be uh, outcomes which occur. Now, outcomes which do not uh, occur from probability experiment they are referred to be a complement event. So actually it is an event that not occur or happen in a given probability experiment. Only simple simple statement I can say that a complement event is defined to be set of all outcomes which did not occur in a particular probability experiment. So uh, in other words, you can say the a set of all outcomes which which did you know, which did not occur so actually all outcomes which did not occur do not occur after an experiment has been performed, those collection of outcomes are described in a set which is uh, referred to be complement uh, event. Complement event. Let's take examples. It's very simple to understand this one. Let's take examples. Wow. Examples of complement event. Are, let's take this one. So when tossing a coin, when tossing a coin, uh, if E represents the event that had occurred, then E complement will be represented by what? So here now my audience that suppose you are tossing a coin and it if it happened that the head is shown up after that tossing. That mean tail did not show up. So it is opposite of that what uh, the event that occurred. So if E represented the event that had occurred, then E complement, E complement is going to be a uh, tail. Why? Because if tail showed up after tossing a coin, that automatically mean uh, tail did not occur. So this tail is described in the complement event set. Uh, so this is simple example. Uh, that's a basic idea. If a particular answer is yes, that means the opposite of that answer is no. So uh, if it's about tossing coin, head is there showing up, that means tail is not occurring. Because there are only two possible outcomes when it comes to tossing coin as a probability experiment. Now another example. So another example. 
example is when rolling a die. When, when rolling a die, uh, suppose that event E is all outcomes number one, three, and five. So suppose number one, three, and five are the outcome that showed up after rolling a die. That means uh, E complement are all outcomes which did not show up will be a set of number two, four, and six. Why this audience? It's very simple. You can now remember the sample space. Remember the sample space set uh, coming from uh, experiment which involve rolling a die. Sample space set. I hope you all remember is number one, two, three, four, five, up to six. So in simple thinking is that if number one showed up, number three showed up, and number five showed up, like this as event set, that means number two did not show up, number four did not show up, and number six did not show up. So this E event will be one, three, five, while even dash will be a set of uh, two, four, and six. So you have to know complement event. Not every time uh, people are trying to predict that event will occur. Sometimes people are trying to predict if the event will not occur. So both of the situation, you have to know if you have to master the mathematics of prediction. So you have to know even that will occur an event that will not occur, both of them coming from sample space set. Okay, so let's continue with uh, the formula now we can use to find the probability of complement event. I hope by this time you understand what is complement event. Now the main target is to find the probability of this kind of event. Okay, let's check what's going to happen. Wow, so the target is not reached yet, so we are trying to drive into the target. What is that? Is to find probability of complement event. Now, what I'm going to do is to write the formula that is usually used to find the probability of complement event. Now, so now, uh, suppose you have a Venn diagram, suppose that you have a Venn diagram uh, of this kind. Uh, with this Venn diagram, let's say you have a set. Uh, this set, let's call E. So this is event set. This circle is representing the event set. All members, all outcomes which will happen from a particular probability experiment will be will supposed to be inside the circle. But members which are outside of this circle, outside of this set E, are now placed e at this position. It's not necessarily this position. It can be here, it can be there, or there, as long as it's, it is outside the circle. Now, this rectangle is representing a sample space set. You are used uh, to call this rectangle as a universal set. That's no problem. When it comes to probability, universal set is now calling sample space set. So for this time, I'm not going to use uh, universal set symbol. I'll use universal, universal set symbol for probability. And what is that? Actually, it is yes, sample space set. So now, here we can try to digest the fact from this figure. There is a fact we can extract from it. Uh, all members which comes outside this circle and members which are found inside this circle
actually, if you use the concept of area, that the area outside the circle and the area inside the circle combine together to make the area of the whole rectangle here. But I'm not going to talk about the area. Here, the focus is members which are formed inside the circle and all members which are formed outside the circle, both of them, if you combine, they make all members formed inside the rectangle. So the fact we can extract is that the number of E, number of elements inside set E, plus number of elements inside E dash, supposed to be number of elements inside S. So with this one, uh, with this formula, uh, which is extracted using the concept of set, we can convert this formula to be the set for uh, the formula for probability. Now, how do we convert this formula into a probability form? So, what we do is to divide is to divide by n s each term. Let us divide the whole equation by n s each term. After that one, we'll see what happens. Now let us divide. So number of element uh, in event set plus number of element in the complement set equals to the number of element in the sample space set. So after dividing each term, dividing each term, uh, what happened? What happened, students? Uh, here now is where we come and try to think of the basic definition of a probability. Remember that the probability of an event is given to be the number of events of a number of elements in the sample space set. Do you remember this? I hope you do. Now, for this one, for this first fraction, for this first first fraction, uh, you can see that this represents the probability of an event. This fraction here is the probability of an event. And again, the next fraction is again the probability of an event. But in which event? The event is marked to be complement. It is complement there. So it's supposed to be probability of event which is complement. And this equals to uh, number of sample space per number of sample space. So this fraction is simplifies to 1. So the fraction will simplify to 1. Uh, for this kind of equation is what we want. This is the right and the correct formula you can use to find the probability of complement event. So you have to take this and if you want to solve for probability of an of a complement event you can make survey you can make probability of a complement as the subject so this becomes probability of e dash equals to one minus probability of a so what is happening here audience that these two formulas actually they are talking about the same thing what change here is only the form so it is your interest whether you take this formula or you take this formula the one you see or think it is comfortable for you to remember so that you can work with problem relating to it uh, so you can take this one or this one whatever but you can take only one. It's not necessary that you take both of them. You, you can take only one and do a power of transposing, transposing a form, making a subject for the interest or for whatever uh, calculation you want to make. So this is the formula uh, that is going to be used. And for me, always I'll prefer this one and we will make subject. If we want to find the probability of an event or probability of complement event, we will just make subject. Others prefer to take this one 
that's no problem as long as you do the right thing okay so what follows next is now the examples but before examples uh, you have to understand the, the symbols which are being used for this kind of thing so check the symbols you have to interpret the symbols used So if you interpret uh, p of e equals to probability, this will represent probability of event uh, occurring. Uh, and this one equals to probability of event e dash probability of event not occurring it's very simple you, you, this one is very simple students it's very simple my audience to take only the probability of not plus probability of yes probability of yes plus probability of no combined supposed to be one that's the fact probability of success plus probability of failure always equals to one so this is what the formula is trying to say. Is trying to say, uh, if, for example, in your mathematics test, the probability of you uh, winning or probability of you passing the test is 30 percent, that means the probability of failure is 70. So how do you know? It is because of this formula. If the probability of you uh, visiting your friend's house is 70 that means probability of you not visiting is 30% combined if you take 70 and 30 is 100% which is actually 1 in terms of corona so let's check examples basing on this uh, subtopic probability of complement event wow so example number 1 uh, Example number one is about a class which contains 50 pupils, 30 of whom are girls. So you are asked to find the probability that a pupil selected at random is not a girl. So with this, we have to check the solution, how we do. Uh, so this class will represent the sample space the class will, con will represent the sample space for us and actually the class is contain a total of 50 pupils so this number of sample space is going to be equal to 50 but with these 50 pupils 30 of whom 30 of whom are girls out of 50 30 are girls so the number of girls are 30 so you are asked to find the probability that a pupil one pupil selected at random is not a girl in other words it is a boy in other words it is a boy so uh, <coughs> what you need to do first is to let you let E to represent event that e represent the event that uh, a pupil is a girl why am I suggesting that e is supposed to be even that a pupil is a girl why am I suggesting this because I need to go opposite I need to go opposite with what is suggested here. So the suggestion is that a student selected at random is not a girl. So while you are suggesting, while you are suggesting uh, an event, so the event should go opposite with what has been said here. So E is supposed to be even that a pupil is a girl. Please, you have to go against what is suggested. So in this sense, in this sense, number of E will represent the number of those students who are girls 
E will be now number of students who are girls. How many girls are in this scenario? Uh, girls have been defined to be 30, out of 30 of whom are girls. So you have 30 girls coming from 50 pupils. So number of E is going to be 30. So now, uh, because you are asked to find the probability that a student selected is not a girl, that means uh, you have to find the probability of E dash equals to what? The probability of uh, E not. The probability of E not. The probability of not a girl. The probability of not a girl. Because E as E has been suggested to be a pupil. Who is a girl? Now, how do you find this? So, actually, you have to recall the formula that the probability of E plus probability of E dash is equal to 1. Now, in order to find this probability, according to, this, uh, according to the question here, you have to know what is this probability of E, probability of E value. So actually, if you define probability of E, this is defined to be the number of elements in the event set divided by the number of sample space, according to the definition. And this probability will remain the same, because we don't know uh, what will be the value. So we don't know actually. So this is what we solve. This is what we need. So we have to manipulate probab probability of event to be the number of events divided by number of sample space. So the number of event is equal to 30, and the number of sample space is equal to 50. So you plug the values, and it becomes 30 over 50 uh, plus probability of E naught equals to 1. So this one, if you simplify it, will be 3 over 5 plus probability of E naught equals to 1. Next up is to make subject, this one, and it will become probability of E naught equals to 1 minus 3 over 5. Solving this fraction becomes the probability of E naught equals to uh, 1 minus 3 over 5. The answer is supposed to be 2 out of 5. So this now will be the probability that a student selected is not a girl. The probability that the student selected at random is not a girl is 2 out of 5. Thank you. So let's check the second example. Wow, so I hope the class is moving on smoothly for you audience and I'm glad if that is the case. Let's continue with example number 2 uh, with this session of probability of complement event. Now the example says the probability that a man will pass a job interview is 25%. So you are asking what is the probability that he failed? What is the, will be the probability that a man failed the job interview? So quickly you have to let E to represent the event that man uh, pass the job. So you have to let it represent the event that a man passed the job interview. In that case, E dash will represent the opposite of this event. E dash. So I'm not going to write it. It's not necessary. Because if E is representing yes, so E dash will represent no. That is simple like that. Now, so what is asked is the probability of E dash equals to what? Now, what is given? What is given from the question is the probability that a man will pass. So it is 25%. So what is given is probability uh, of E. Remember, E is representing yes for the job that a man will pass a job interview. Now, so this one is given to be 25%. So what is this probability of E 
R dash or root of not E. Now, so if we record the formula, if we record the formula, the probability of E plus probability of E dash is supposed to be equal to 1. So because this is given, so you say it is 25% plus probability of E dash equals 1. Making subject the probability of E naught supposed to be probability of E naught equals to 1 minus 25%. So actually 1 minus 25% is 75% uh, for sure. Or if you fail to do that one, you can convert it into a fraction. So it become 25 over 100. So this one is supposed to be equal to 75 over 100, which is actually 75%. So the probability that a man will fail the job interview is supposed to be 75% chance. Uh, suppose it is you. Uh, will you go to that kind of interview that the chance of failure, chance of failing the interview is very high compared to the chance that you will pass the interview? Oh, don't worry. You have to try. Everything is uh, basing on trying, no matter what chance is it. If it's very small chance, go and try. You never know. God is there. Thank you. Example number three now is about uh, tossing a die. So a die was tossed once. A die was tossed once. You are asked to find the probability that odd numbers will not occur. The probability that odd numbers uh, will not occur. So first of all, as usual, you have to know the sample space uh, set when it comes to the probability experiment of tossing a die. So this is consisting of number one up to six. Number one up to six. And the number of sample space, if you count here, you get six. Okay, so um, the outcome which is uh, needed here is odd numbers not to occur. Odd numbers not to occur. So actually, if no odd numbers they are supposed not to occur, uh, you have to let first the event will be represented by what? If odd numbers will not occur, that means numbers which are not odd will occur. Again, numbers which are not odd will occur. So E, let E to represent uh, even that uh, odd numbers occur. As usual, I say later, uh, previously, so that, that uh, you have to suggest e, e to be the opposite as suggested here. Here, what is said that odd numbers will not occur. So you have to suggest E as the opposite, that even that odd numbers will occur, will occur. Okay, in that, in that sense, uh, E dash will mean the opposite of this, that even that odd numbers will not, so this will be the even that odd numbers will not occur. Because of this dash, because of this dash, it is representing not. So uh, that is what you need to do. Now, if that's the case, uh, the event that odd numbers occur will consist of all, all odd numbers extracted from sample space set. And those odd numbers are number one, two, uh, it's not two, sorry, number one, uh, three, and five. So the number of sample space, number of element in this set is equal to three. So now what is being asked is the probability of E naught equals to what? Probability of E naught equals to what? So again, you have to recall the formula that probability of E plus probability of E dash supposed to sum up to 1. They should add up to 1. So again, um, So again, this
this one uh, if you interpret this one it becomes uh, number of event of a number of sample space this probability of an event is defined to be this ratio so again you continue with plus this probability of a dash equals to one so with information which has been obtained number of element in event a is equal to three divide the number of sample space we, we got six plus probability of e dash equals to one solving for this so the probability of e naught will be equals to one minus three out of six and this one is one minus three out of six if you simplify you get a half so actually one minus a half this again becomes a half so the probability of not e is equal to a half what does this mean by the way is that the probability that e will not occur and what is e we suggested earlier that e is representing all numbers to occur so actually this is the message that the probability of all numbers not to occur is half a chance of 50 percent chance that odd numbers will not occur when a die is tossed once okay let's check with the fourth examples and this i believe will be the last example to finish our session number two for this time okay thank you wow example number four now again is uh, about a die uh, which has been toasty uh, one time. So when a die is toasty once, you are asked to find the probability that a prime factors of number six, of prime factors of number six, will not, will not show up. So actually, mm, again, because the experiment is involving tossing a die, you have to take the probability. Uh, experiment as tossing a die and the sample space set is again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, to 6. So the number of sample space again is equal to 6. And here now let the event E to represent uh, the prime factors of 6. Because here is not, so take the opposite. The event C uh, the event E will represent uh, the event that uh, prime factors of 6 will show up. So we have to take the opposite. Don't take it with the word not. Now by that uh, interpretation, now you can suggest uh, the event E will consist of what elements? Remember, the elements are supposed to be the prime factors of number 6. So, the prime factors of number 6 is 2 and number 3. Why? Because 6 is equal to 2 times 3. So, 2 and 3 are the prime factors of number 6. So, the event E will contain only number 2 and 6 because they are the prime factors. Now the number of elements is supposed to be two elements inside. Two elements inside. So you're asking uh, probability of E naught equals to what? Probability of E naught equals to what? So again, you have to recall that probability of E plus probability of E naught equals to 1. So with this formula, you manipulate and solve for probability of E naught. Uh, let's check. of an event again is defined to be the ratio of number of e over number of sample space contained with plus probability of e naught should be sum up to one 
Now, number of E equals to 2, number of sample space equals to 6, plus probability of E not equals to 1. So, as usual, again, so for this, uh, if you simplify, you get 1 over 3, plus probability of E not equals to 1. Solving for this, you get probability of E not equals to 2 out of 3. So you can be quickly solve for this one uh, with your level, I hope and I believe you understand how to solve this one. I hope you get 2 out of 3. So this is how we solve this example number 4. Thank you for uh, time and attention again. Thank you for your uh, uh, following me. I'm pleasing you to uh, continue subscribing. Please subscribe my YouTube channel to encourage me to help you more. To do it more i hope to add more subjects so please subscribe my youtube channel again